forms by graphing. Um, and let's take a second and talk real quick about what I mean by systems, because that's what majority of this chapter is about, um, what's called a system of equations. Mathematically, when I say a system, I'm really talking about more than one equation at one time. And you have to find a solution that works for more than one equation at the same time. Now, when we were looking at linear equations back in Chapter 3, the chapter we just finished, yes, I know there was a problem. Thank you. That was my whole issue. But um, when we were talking about, like, just this top equation, y equals 3x minus 5, how many solutions does that equation have? A whole lot, right? Like an infinite number. Um, because remember that any combination of x and y that, that makes that sentence true is considered to be a solution. Okay, So you could come up with a ton of different combinations um, for that equation. So this equation has a ton that work. This equation has a ton that work. Um, the solution to the system is the one solution that makes both of them true at the same time. So if I graph this line and graph this line, where do you think I'm going to find one point that they have in common? All right, let's graph it and find out. How do I graph y equals 3x minus 5? Where do I start? Macy? On the y-axis, yep. So here's negative 5. And then my slope is 3 over 1. So that means I'm going to go up 3 and over 1. Up 3 and over 1. Um, and I'm going to do it a couple of times. With these, you may want to. I didn't take them out today, but like for your assignment, you may want to use a ruler or a straight edge to draw your lines. Just because it is going to be important that they're precise. Okay? So there's that line. That's the y equals 3x minus 5. Um, the other suggestion I give to you when you're doing these, make sure your graph fills up the entire graph. Don't make it like a tiny little like line segment. Fill up the entire thing. And then my next equation is y equals x minus 3. So how do I graph that one? Where do I start? <clears throat> Negative 3 on the y-axis. And then my slope is what on that one? <coughs> one. One. Yep, so it'd be like one over one. So I'm going to go up one over one. Up one over one. Up one over one. And draw my line. Okay. So all of the dots on this line, even the dots I didn't draw in, all of the dots on this line represent the solutions to this equation. And all of the dots on this purple line represent the solutions to that equation. Where could I find one solution that works for both equations? Say it again. One that touches both of the lines. Okay, so where would that be on this graph? One negative Yeah, it's this right, um, not one negative three. 1, negative 2, yeah, this one. It's the point where they intersect. That's all you're really doing now, is you're graphing two lines at the same time and telling me where they cross. Okay? So you're, you're right. The solution here would be one negative 2. Okay? Now, um, because graphing can be a little imprecise sometimes, um, especially if you're drawing them by hand, you usually do kind of want to go back and double check and make sure that's the right coordinate, make sure you're not a little bit off and it shouldn't be someplace else. So the way you can check that is take these two numbers and plug them back into both equations for x and y. And it should work in both equations. So um, like for that first one, y equals 3x minus 5. So I would put in negative 2 equals 3 times 1 minus 5. So I put this in for x and this in for y. And then I want you to tell me, is that true? Is 3 times 1 minus 5 equal to negative 2? It is. Yep, so that one works. But remember, it's got to work in both. So let's check the other one. So the other one would say negative 2 equals 1 minus 3. Is that also true? 
Yep, so that is my solution, 1, negative 2. Okay? How's that seem? Crazy hard? Yeah. No. Okay. All right, next one. X equals 3. How do I graph that? Is A, are you with me over there? Yeah. Okay. X equals 3. How do I graph it? <coughs> what kind of line is it going to be? Ooh, it's, it's a vertical line, right? At 3. So here's X equals 3. And I'm going to have a vertical line that drops right through X equals 3. Kind of hard to see up here, but right at x equals 3. And then y equals negative 2x plus 2 is going to start at plus 2, plus two on the y. And then if my slope is negative 2 over 1, go down 2 over 1. Down 2 into the right one. Good. Okay. Draw my line. Draw my line. My solution then would be the place where they intersect. It's this point right here. And that is at 3, negative 4. You agree with me there? Okay. Now, to check this one, do I know that this is a solution to that x equals 3? How do I know? Because the x equals 3, right? Remember, this equation, x equals 3, means that x has to equal 3 and y can equal anything you want. So this fits that, right? As long as my x is equal to 3, I'm good. Let's check the other one. So negative 4 equals negative 2 times 3 plus 2. This is not something, by the way, that you would have to write out every single time. Um, something, though, that you should do at least in your calculator. Double check it. Let's see, that's negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. So, yep, that one works, too. You think you got this? Yeah. Okay. Do we need to do the third example? No. Good, because I picked really bad numbers to do that one. It's really tricky to graph. So, um, But I think you guys have the idea, right? So, graphing systems, you are just graphing two lines and telling me where they cross. Okay. Um, by the way, on the back of that page, there are directions about how to graph these in your calculator. Now, that really only does you good if you have your own calculator, and I know not everybody does. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go over this right now. If you have your own calculator and you want to figure out how to do it on your calculator, try to read through these, and then if you need help, come see me. Um, but probably closer to your test, we'll talk about it with everybody about how to do these in your calculator. Okay. So now